Oh, hello. This is Tak Chung from Walk with Tak. Uh, welcome to my YouTube channel. Uh, if you enjoyed this video, uh, please like, subscribe, and share. In this video, I'm going to demonstrate the use of uh, starch rather than flour in creating a dumpling skin. Uh, the main impetus of this video because uh, one of my friend has an aversion to gluten and therefore he cannot have uh, dumpling skin that are made out from uh, wheat flour. Uh, so to create this skin, here I use uh, two parts of wheat starch with one part of uh, tapioca starch. Uh, in order to make this dough work, uh, you have to add boiling water. That is truly water that is boiling, as you can see uh, in this video. Uh, just to emphasize the point, I'm going to repeat this uh, clip again. As you can see, the water is literally boiling as I pour them into the starch. Uh, this part is really uh, essential. As you can see, that uh, the uh, starch forms almost like a gel-like structure. Uh, this gel-like structure is absolutely essential for the dough to work. Uh, the amount of water that you put in uh, usually is about uh, when you have two parts of uh, starch, you will put in about one part of water. Uh, as a general rule, you want to add enough water that will pick up all the starch. And when you put them onto the counter and knit them, you will find that they are very uh, gelatinous. In fact, they're almost like play doh. And next, I create a crevice and spray some oil into it. If you don't have an oil spray, I would just add about one to two drops of oil. The oil will make the knitting easier and to create a smoother texture. A starch are basically a tiny granules. When you add water to starch, they start to become hydrated. But when you heat the starch, then they form this gel-like structure. And this is how you create the form and shape of the dough. And now this is very different from the dough formed by wheat flour. A flour also contains starch as main ingredients, but flour also contains a set of proteins known as glutens. When you knead the flour, the physical force causes the glutens to form a cross-linked structure. In this case, it's the gluten that provides the shape of the flour dough. Uh, the chemical bond that found in by the gluten proteins are much stronger and they can subject to high heat, therefore they are suitable for baking. Uh, whereas the chemical bonds formed in starch gel, uh, they are much weaker, uh, so they are only appropriate for use in steaming. Uh, when you roll this dough that's uh, made up by the wheat starch and the tapioca starch, you find that it has an uh, elasticity that you will not find in a weak dough. And the primary reason is due to the presence of the tapioca starch. And the reason for adding the tapioca starch is to create a more chewy texture of the dumpling skin. And so the question that you might have is that what's the difference between the wheat starch and tapioca starch? And let's quickly take a look at the chemical structure of starch. A starch is a group of a chemical molecule known as polysaccharide. A starch is a polymer of uh, individual glucose that are joined together. Uh, these glucose are known as monosaccharide. Uh, they are the same glucose that we refer to as blood sugar. A starch contains two different types of uh, polysaccharide. The first one is known as amylose, and the second one is known as amylopectin. And starch from different sources contain a different ratio of these two polysaccharides. For example, this ratio between wheat starch and tapioca starch are, are quite different. Uh, these differences in the ratio of these two polysaccharides give the starch their unique properties. Uh, for example, the tapioca starch has a low amylose content. Uh, therefore, by adjusting the ratio between the wheat starch and the tapioca starch, uh, you can change the consistency as well as the texture of the skin. So you can consider this as a template, and by making modification to the uh, ingredient, uh, you can adjust the outcome of the skin. Uh, to me, this is the power and advantage of a template-based cooking. So now by understanding the uh, purpose and the significance of different type of starch that are present in this uh, mix, uh, you can actually make substitutions uh, of the wheat starch with other type of starch. 
And so far in my case, I have uh, experiment uh, to substitute the wheat starch with corn starch. Uh, the skin turned out all right, uh, but it certainly a uh, slightly different in its taste and texture. Other starch, I think you probably can use it for substitution, uh, like potato starch or arrowroot starch. Okay, now with this dumpling skin, my friend can enjoy his dumpling uh, without the concern of uh, consuming any gluten. Uh, thank you for watching. Uh, if you enjoyed this video, uh, please click like, subscribe, and share. I'll see you next time.